20 interesting things you're too lazy to Google. Why is the sky blue? Why aren't there any more dinosaurs? Why do trees change colors? If you've been around kids long enough, you know the incessant barrage of questions that, as simple as they seem, often have you scratching your head. However, just because we grow up, it doesn't mean that our curiosity about the world around us goes away. So if you're ready to finally get the answers to the random questions that lie abandoned in the back of your brain, then you've turned into the right video. Number 20. Why do you get goosebumps? Goosebumps form when tiny muscles at the base of hair follicles contract. In the animal kingdom, this helps them warm up faster by standing each hair on end and creating a sort of insulation. In case of danger, having all their hairs in the first standing helps an animal look bigger and more threatening in front of an enemy. And even though we don't need fur to keep us warm or scare off our enemies, humans still get goosebumps in cold weather or in emotional states. It's the result of an instinctual release of adrenaline, which means that goosebumps are just an evolutionary hand-me-down from our ancient ancestors. Number 19. Why does your voice sound different on a recording? Have you ever heard your own voice on a recording? Utterly unrecognizable, isn't it? What causes this is the ability of our bones to conduct sound. Other people hear the sound waves of your voice coming only through the air, and a recording also contains just these sounds. Yet the way we hear our own voices is a combination of the regular sounds and the low-frequency sounds conducted by the bones of our skulls. That's why the first recording of your voice may come to you as a shocking surprise. Number 18. Why do you get a brain freeze from cold drinks or foods? We all know the pleasure-killing feeling of a brain freeze while eating ice cream or drinking a slushie. Oh. Or maybe it's even happened to you when you breathe the air while jogging in the park on a cold day. The thing is that when something extremely cold touches the roof of your mouth, the nerve center located there tends to overreact. In a panicked attempt to warm up your brain, the nerves tell the blood vessels in the head to swell up. Geez, nerves, calm down and let me enjoy my milkshake. Lucky for us, this stabbing pain typically lasts no more than half a minute or so. Number 17. Why does the sun darken your skin, yet lighten your hair? In both cases, the sun's UV rays break down melanin, which is the pigment responsible for the color of your hair and skin. The difference is in the fact that hair is made up of dead cells while skin cells are alive. When the pigment is destroyed by the sun, it's not replenished in the hair, so it gets lighter. Your skin, however, answers to the sun's aggression with a stronger replenishment of melanin, thus making the color darker and giving you that glowing summer tan. Number 16. Why does time pass more slowly for a child? Do you get the feeling that between each of your birthdays, time is speeding up? Well, that's probably because when you were a child, you had to remember more events. Kids are only starting to get acquainted with the world around them, and their memory has to collect more data. So their year contains more new and unfamiliar events than that of a grown-up. Adults have been there, done that, so to say, which means that they can rely on previous experiences to quickly get through current situations. But a child doesn't have this experience, so they take time analyzing much more information. So maybe the right expression would be, 
Time flies when you're having to be an adult. Number 15. Why don't your eyeballs get cold when it's freezing out? Well, that's an interesting question. The answer is that there are no temperature receptors in your eyes. Plus, most of your eyeball is sitting inside your skull, so it's kept nice and toasty by the blood flow inside. Number 14. Why do your eyes close when you sneeze? Imagine this nightmare. You're driving down a busy freeway, you see your exit, and you need to merge over. Just as you're checking for cars in the next lane, you feel a sneeze coming on. Of course, you know that every time you sneeze, your eyes always close. And why is this? Scientists aren't completely sure, but they do believe that it could be an instinctual response in order to keep the flying debris and germs coming out of your mouth from falling into your eye. It also could be because the muscles in your face, including the ones around your eyes, involuntarily tighten whenever you sneeze. Number 13. Why don't city pigeons perch in trees? The pigeons hanging out in urban areas have developed a habit of settling on the rocky landscape where there are no trees. It means they didn't inherit the tree-perching reflex of their rural or jungle relatives. The structure of their limbs doesn't physically prevent them from sitting in trees. They're just not used to such behavior. So you can say that these birds have been city-fied. Number 12. Why is dust white against the black backdrop and black against the white one? Dust is actually gray, but the tiny size of its particles prevents us from seeing its true color. We just spot the difference if the specks are lighter or darker than the background. Number 11. Why do raccoons wash their food? Not only is it super adorable, but it's also practical. Raccoons often get their food from the water and its surroundings, so there can be some ooze or algae that they're trying to clean off. Another reason isn't so cute. Raccoons might kill their prey this way by simply rinsing the life out of it. Hardcore! Number 10. Why do birds fly in V-formation? First of all, it's energy efficient. No, not like those fancy light bulbs. Let me explain. The birds flying in the front row create currents of air with their wings. Those flying in the back rows can catch these drifts and save their energy. Well, if I were a bird, my lazy bones would definitely be in the back row. Plus, this formation helps all the birds at once see the leader, who always flies first. Number 9. Why do we yawn when we're tired? When we're feeling bored or sleepy, our breathing slows down. Your body doesn't like this because it needs your blood to be full of life-giving oxygen. So when you yawn, your lungs fill with air that then feeds your blood with the oxygen it needs to carry throughout your body. Another reason could be that yawning stretches and flexes the muscles in your chest, which speeds up your heart rate and gives you more energy. Pretty cool, huh? Number 8. Why does a brook babble? Brook who? What's she babbling about? Oh, a brook. They make this sound when air bubble gets trapped in the stream and then burst. The bursting of all these air pockets gives us a variety of sounds, which we call babbling. Number seven, why do you get motion sickness?
This happens because your brain gets bombarded with contradictory information from different parts of your body. For example, if you're on a ship, your internal ear feels the movement of the waves, but your eyes don't see it. The brain tries to make these two separate feelings agree and gets confused. The results of this confusion are dizziness, nausea, and sweating, to name a few. Do you ever get seasick or carsick? Let us know in the comments below. Number 6. Why do clocks' hands move circularly? Before we had handy digital clocks, or even good old mechanical ones, people relied on sundials to tell the time. These old clocks had a pole in the center that cast shadows around the plate as the sun moved across the sky. In the northern hemisphere, the movement of the sun caused the shadow to go from left to the right. The first mechanical versions of the clock was invented exactly there sometime later. So, you can thank the sun for those hands spinning around the clock. Number 5. Why is the ring finger used for blood tests? Well, part of it is process of elimination. The thumb and pinky finger are closely connected to the wrist. So if you get an infection from piercing these fingers, it can travel up into the arm. Therefore, it's advised to take blood from any finger except thumb or pinky. On top of that, the ring finger is the least sensitive. It works less than other fingers and has thinner skin. Since you don't use this finger often, pricking it doesn't hurt so much and it heals more quickly. Number 4. Why did pirates wear eye patches? Uh, duh, they did it to cover an eye they had lost in an epic battle, right? Wrong. Black patches had no connection with missing eyes. Pirates wore them to be able to see in the dark. It takes the human eye more than 25 minutes to adapt from light to the dark. So, when pirates needed to go to the lower deck where the light was extremely dim, they could simply remove their patch. The eye beneath it was used to the darkness, so this helped them find their way. Number 3. Why do goats have rectangular pupils? These animals, just like horses and hippos, need rectangular pupils for survival. With the help of these strange-looking pupils, goats can see over 280 degrees around them, which gives the animals a perfect means to spot predators wherever they are. It's especially important for grazing animals that keep their head down to the ground. On the other hand, Pupils resembling vertical slits, like cats for instance, are most typical for predators. Number 2. Why do you need to sleep? When you sleep, it optimizes the synapses in your brain. What this means is that your memories solidify and the tidbits of information you've gotten throughout the day move from your short-term to your long-term memory. What's more, your body demands this time of rest to recuperate, develop muscle tissue, and synthesize hormones. Remember, the younger you are, the more sleep you need. Or, you know, it's totally okay for an adult to sleep 17 hours a night on the weekends, right? Number 1. Where does toilet waste go on a plane? Doesn't it go flying towards the ground at top speed? Hopefully not. That sounds dangerous and really gross. When you press the flush button on the plane, a valve opens and sucks down everything out of the bowl. The contents are carried into a holding tank within seconds. A single one of those storage tanks can hold about 20 gallons of waste. Right after the plane lands, a service truck removes all the waste from the tanks. Props to the guys whose job it is to drive that truck.
Have you found the answers to any of the questions nagging at your brain? Press the like button if so. Which fact seemed the most surprising? Tell us in the comments below. Remember to share this video with your friends and click the subscribe button to join us on the bright side.